Um, hi, guys. Hello. Hello. How does, uh, how does Rise of an Empire relate to the first 300 in, in terms of time and place? Uh, I think they're, um, I mean, I've used this parallel before, which is it's, it's two trains leaving the station at the same time. So they're just on parallel tracks and the uh, same three days. Uh, as what was going on really in the north at the hot gates in uh, Thermopylae. You know, other things were going, if you're in kind of tight on a lens looking at that one battle, then you pull back into that kind of wide overlook of Greece. Now we get to see, okay, this is going on, on the coast, this was going in, in Sparta, in Athens, and you really get to see the, the bigger, in the bigger context of what was going on in this war. I think, I think it's, a, it's a cool conceptual idea that you actually have a companion film, or an equal, as we call it, uh, not just a sequel or a prequel, because it really is a, a, a you, it gives you another perspective about the same thing that happened at the same time. So it really is something original in that construct, because um, you have really quite never seen that done that way. Tell me who uh, Themistocles is, and in as quickly as possible, I suppose, because there's a lot that could be said about that. And what Sullivan brings to that role? Well, Themistocles always, had the, I mean, we start looking for <laughs> Themistocles, uh, for me, was a, is, is a very complex character because he's not only a, um, a, uh, a warrior, but he's also a politician. Uh, and he's a politician that is driven uh, by ideas and also by um, personal agenda and uh, of, just, of success and power and all that. Um, so I think he he grew up in the wrong side of, of the tracks and sort of comes from the people on the poor side of the lower side of Athens and and, and rises up uh, to become who he is uh, so he has to have all of that complexity of being a charmer and being sexy and being very smart and driven and and uh, and I and have an ideology. And we were looking for Sullivan, and you know, we were looking for that character, and I remember seeing um, uh, Animal Kingdom and was completely blown away by it. And you know, we looked and looked and looked, and yeah, there was no question that he is the guy, and he's amazing. We love him. I love him. I love him. <laughs> um, with the character of Artemisia, uh, why make the choice to give her a more personal reason for vengeance. And in, in, in meaning that, you know, in, in history, she's a queen, she has these ships, she's sided with the Persians by, mm -hmm. essentially by geography. But uh, in the film, we, you've added a little right. bit to that, embellished right. a little so that it's more personal. She had been attacked, her family had been persecuted. Yeah, uh, and that was a choice. I mean, Zach and I were looking at a way into, um, I mean, it's it's uh, you know it's a fine line to uh, walk and get sympathetic, get sympathetic or get sympathy for your villain or for your bad guy, but we wanted to uh, explore that you know not it's just not black and white and there are gray areas here and that that we're um, that you know that, that people are that, that people are complex and so giving her a backstory. Um, that you know ha has many layers to it, and that there could be something fueling her besides that you know that she's just a commander, or that she's a queen, or that she's been entrusted, or or just flip flip sides, but that she has something kind of deeply rooted within her that uh, makes her want to watch Athens burn. And I think that's that's where Zach was coming from. <laughs>